Yo, it's your boy JT. And uh, this is the Manny Pacquiao versus Timothy Bradley complete breakdown of the fight, part two. Complete breakdown of the fight and just how I believe it's going to go. You know, this is the rematch. The rematch of the rematch of these two fighters. You know, the first fight ended with a lot of controversy for a lot of people. Um, well, we'll just start by talking about that. Let's just start with the first fight. Uh, the first fight, the first fight, I've watched that fight over ten times. I watched that fight so many times. I watched it with Pacquiao fans. I've watched it with Pac-Tards. I've watched it with, um, I just remember when it first happened, uh, I was at work, and uh, at that time I used to work with, you know, quite a bit Filipinos, man, and they were all bummed out. They all had like a baffled look on their face when, uh, when people were saying that Bradley won because I remember throughout the fight, um, throughout the fight, I would get updates on the fight and, you know, ask people who was winning, like people who wasn't at work and they were all saying Pacquiao. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you know, I got a, I got a call saying Bradley won, so I was shocked, you know, I mean, but I haven't, I didn't see the fight, uh, so I just had to wait till I got home, and, uh, I watched the fight, man, well, I didn't watch it right away, I, I started hearing all the backlash, you know, I went on, you know, boxing scene and fight hype and see what everyone was saying, I heard the backlash, Everyone was saying it was the worst robbery. I was on ESPN. Everyone was saying it was the worst, one of the worst decisions in boxing history. You know, quote unquote. You know, that's what was on ESPN. So I'm like, okay, the fight happened on Saturday. I actually bought a video. There's a guy at my job, a Filipino guy, and he would make like uh, video DVDs. He would make DVDs of every Pacquiao fight. Every Pacquiao, every Mayweather, every big fight, this guy, he would make a DVD of it. So I waited, and um, I got the fight. I had it on DVD, and then I watched it, and I'm just, lo I'm looking, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for all the, you know, all the controversy, you know, and I'm just like, wow, man, every round... Every round was very, very competitive, man. People were saying that, you know, I was listening to everyone's, I was listening to everyone saying that it was one of the worst robberies in boxing history. This is a black guy on boxing and, you know, all the, you know, and all the Pactards, of course, they went absolutely berserk with it. So I'm just sitting and I'm watching and I'm waiting for, you know, all the, the craziness, but it just, it never happened and that's because it was a close fight. Now, I watched this fight. I've had arguments with a lot of my friends. A lot of my friends are boxing fans. And uh, around that time, I had the DVD, so I would watch it with people who, who said that, oh, man, Pacquiao got robbed, you know, Pacquiao, you know, it was a terrible decision. So I watched the fight, and I bullshit you not, I, I would watch this fight with with friends, and I would say, you know what, okay, let's score the fight round for round and watch it together, without the, you know, without the HBO bias-ass commentary, you know, without that, you know, we would watch the fight, and, and I bullshit you not, every time I watched the fight, me and the other person watching the fight... We came out with the same score every time. It was the same score. And that score was 115 or 113. Either way. Either you scored it 115, 113 for Bradley, or you scored it 115, 113 for Pacquiao. Which is funny because the judges saw it the same way. 
all the judges across the board, it was 115 or 113, either Bradley, two had it, of course, for Bradley, and one had it for Pacquiao. You know? So, just by that, just going off that, that tells you that this was a very, very close fight. Very, very close fight. You know, very, very close fight. You know? Uh... It was a very, very close fight. I had it 115-113 for Bradley. But I can understand why someone would say Pacquiao won the fight. But see, that's not my point with this. My point is, how is everyone screaming robbery in such a a, a two-round fight? It's a two-round fight. Whenever, at this time when they fought, Pacquiao was rated number two pound for pound in the world against a relatively a, a relatively unknown undefeated fighter, which was Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley was unknown to the boxing public. You know, you know, we're talking casual fans. Relatively unknown, man. Everyone, no one really gave him a chance. So, Whew. uh. Tim Bradley was unknown d- during the f- during this fight, and um, Pacquiao. See, Pacquiao's problem was he was fighting one minute of every round, you know, which was very un Pacquiao like. You know, I mean, it was just like, what is causing him to do this? You know what I mean, and. Sure enough, I would say a lot of it was the defense of Tim Bradley. He was very, very good, and he was making Pacquiao miss a lot of shots and moving. But Pacquiao just didn't seem right, man. You know, and to be honest, he just he hasn't he hasn't seemed right since you know 2008, 2009. You know, he he just hasn't been the same guy. And I just feel like honestly, I feel like. Whether it's Freddie Roach or, you know, or either it's just Pacquiao, maybe. It's just like he's become a more, he's gotten like more fundamentally sound. I don't know if if Freddie Roach has taught him this or he's, you know, even more so since the knockout. But I'm saying even before the knockout, like when he fought Mosley. You know, I would say Claudie, but I'm going to give him a pass with the Claudie because Claudie didn't even show up to, to fight that fight. He just, you know, he just stood there and just covered up. But ever since the Mosley fight, he just hasn't seemed like the same guy that was that fought Cotto, that fought uh, uh, De La Hoya, Haddon. He hasn't seemed like that fearless guy that's, you know, just going in and throwing all these punches and just very, you know, you know, reckless abandon, man. Just going in, going for the kill. You know, with the with that killer instinct, he just hasn't been that guy. And I just don't understand where a lot of his fans. I just don't understand where they come up with this stuff. I mean, to me, it's clear that he's just not the he's not the same guy. You know, but I will say that. The last time when he fought Marquez, not the third time, but the time when he got knocked out, that was like an, a vintage Pacquiao, man. He came out, and he looked like he was, you know, he he, has, he didn't fight such a, you know, a, he's like more defensive, he's more boxing, a little bit more fundamental, which really, you know, I feel like it's a good thing that he's fighting a lot smarter. But at the same time, it hurts him because I feel like that type of reckless abandon, you know, just going in, throwing all those crazy punches, I feel like that was, you know, that was his game, man. That was, you know, that that's what got him to where he is. So I feel like that's what he did, man. He fought, you know, and even in the Rios fight, he's just very, very gun-shy and was just, very, uh, 
aware of the return, which is what you're supposed to do in boxing. But, you know, but Pacquiao didn't make it to where he made it today fighting that fi- fighting that style. So, anyway, I'm getting way off topic. But anyway, the fight happened with Bradley. It was a very close fight, 113-115. You know, Pacquiao, he just didn't do enough to convincingly beat Bradley. You know, he didn't do enough to convincingly beat Bradley. I feel he lost the fight, to be honest. I mean, you can I mean, he landed, he landed the harder shots, but he was guy. He he basically got outworked by Bradley. Bradley outworked him, and uh, Pacquiao just seemed to either he was uninterested or I don't know, man. He just didn't, he didn't, um, he just didn't let his hands go like he usually do. So anyway, he lost the fight. Came back and he fought. He came back and fought Marquez and got knocked out. Now he's came back. His next fight, which was his last fight, which was Brandon Rios, you know, he fought a very cautious fight, man. A very cautious fight. And, uh, you know, he basically just outboxed Brandon Rios. But, you know, if that was the Pacquiao of 2008, 2009, I don't see no reason of why he couldn't stop Brandon Rios. You know, I don't see no reason why he couldn't have stopped Brandon Reels, man. I mean, if that was the old old school Pacquiao. So anyway, man, second fight, I mean, like I said, I see Tim Bradley, especially with his last two fights, you know, he has more experience at that, at that stage. He's been on the big stage now for three straight fights. You know, he's been in big fights. And, you know, I mean, I just don't see how he's going to be able to beat a Tim Bradley, man. I think Tim Bradley is going to make him miss even more now. He's going to catch him with more shots. You know, he's going to catch Pacquiao with more shots. And uh, he's going to just outwork him, man. His jab, you know, he's going to mix it. He's going to mix it all up, man. I think Tim Bradley is just a little bit too well-rounded of a fighter for Manny Pacquiao right now. Before, yeah, man, I think Pacquiao would win this fight easier, easily if this was in, you know, the, the Pacquiao from 2009, 2008. You know what I'm saying? But now I just think... Marquez softened him up, and I just don't see how he's going to be able to deal with a Tim Bradley right now, man. You know, it's a great fight. You know, you got to give it to the guy for taking the fight, man. You know, Tim Bradley, like I said, he has a legit, he's a legit number three pound-for-pound fighter. He has the resume, you know, he has names on his resume that a lot of people, you know, don't have, man. Most people in the sport don't have, so... You got to give Pacquiao credit for that, but, you know, I just, I think Tim Bradley's going to win this fight, man, just gonna on, on his work rate, you know, uh, I think he's just going to, he's just going to outwork him, man, he's going to outwork him, judging by Pacquiao's, the Pacquiao of late, you know, even though it's Tim Bradley and he's not the hardest puncher in the world, I just don't see... Pacquiao being willing to, you know, be reckless and risk getting getting caught, man. I feel Marquez softened him up, and uh, you know, I think that's gonna be the end of Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather, man. I think that's gonna be the end of it, dude. You know, cause I just don't see I just don't see Pacquiao winning this fight. Now, that doesn't mean that he won't get the decision. Because if he does win, I think it'll be either a majority decision or a split decision. I don't see this being a unanimous decision either way. For either Pacquiao, I don't think Pacquiao can knock out Bradley. I don't think Bradley can knock out Pacquiao. But um, I don't see this being unanimous. I think it's going to be a still a very, very close fight. It's going to be a very, these guys are pretty evenly matched, man. And, you know, I think, 
you know, Bradley's a smarter fighter, and I think being in with him already is going to help is going to help Bradley more cuz I think Bradley's just a smarter fighter and a more complete fighter. I think Bradley just um with is Bradley is going to learn better and he's gotten better since then. You know, he he made very very easy work of Marquez Tim Bradley and I just see him doing the same thing to Manny Pacquiao, man, just making him miss you know, I feel like Bradley was very, very defensive in the first fight. He was making a miss a lot, you know. But I think this time around he's going to make a miss and make him pay, you know. You know, I think it's going to be, it won't be the best and the most exciting fight in the world. There's going to be some ooh and ah moments. There's going to be some good exchanges in this one. But I just see... uh I see Bradley outworking him into a majority decision. That's how I see it. I think a judge is probably going to have it a draw. And I see Bradley just barely getting the edge in this one, man. Still going to be a close fight, you know. You're still going to have pack tards around because it'll be a close fight, you know. But, you know, the pack tards will be silenced again. And they're going to have to come up with some more excuses, you know. So that's how I see it, dude. I see Tim Bradley winning a majority decision. Um, yeah, man, I think it's just going to be another close fight. You know, uh, and that'll be the end of the Mayweather Pacquiao talks. I hope finally, finally we can put that to rest, you know. Because, I mean, that'll be Pacquiao's, what, six? How many losses? You got six or seven losses. You know, so we'll see, man. I, I, I'm definitely gonna be tuning into this one, man. It's gonna be, you know, I just hope they, I hope they have a fair decision, man. That's one first and foremost, and I hope they have a decent undercard, man. Like, I mean, I know Top Rank doesn't have the most deep stable of fighters, but I mean, could we at least get? At least one more big fight on this one, man. Uh, either a Provodnikov Rios, that'll be great. Or uh, fuck, man. Even at the lighter weights, man. Throw rigging down in there with somebody. Rigging down, you know. Put him in there. Put rigging down in there. But put him in there with a guy who comes to fight, man. Put him in there with a Kiko Martinez. That I think that'll be good. I will say Jeffrey Matabula, but you know I. I don't think that'll be that good of a fight, man. That'll be two guys trying to outbox each other. So I say put, make a unification, put unification, Kiko Martinez versus Ringendow on there. And then let's get, shit, a Mikey, put either a Mikey Gamboa on there or a, a co-main event or a, uh, let's see here, or a, a Ruslan versus a Brandon Rios on there, man. Make this shit worthwhile, dude. I mean, I don't want to see no, uh, what was that, Salito versus the gay guy. I don't want to see none of that, man. Let's see some real fights, dude. Let's put on some competitive shit, man. Let's see some, 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 something worth buying, dude. So, anyway, that's how I see it, man. It's your boy JT. I'm out.